Times now exclusive story. Your channel has access exclusive inside scoop of the Pakistani terror plot to bleed Hindus in Kashmir. Times now learns from intel sources that terrorists are being massed in launch pads almost right on the line of control. There are terrorists already inside and there are reports of planned attacks on vehicles of security forces and even convoys. The Mindhar area is where the attack could happen and a colony of Kashmiri pundits may be targeted. Other targets Targets appear to be in Avantipur, Pampur, as well as Pulwama. Times Now has also accessed the detailed list of where terrorists are located in the Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. There are two groups of nine terrorists, and uh, these are villages opposite uh, Rampur. It's a mixed group of members of different terror organizations, and they may be readying for a Fidayin attack. Similarly, there are also 10 to 11 at uh, forward areas as well, also mixed Tanzim as well as targeting Pooch area. Now, three or four of these lashkar e taiba terrorists are also learned to be stationed opposite Nashera. Now, another mixed group of 11 or 12 terrorists is also learned to be at Sonar and Sadari launch pads opposite Gurez. Three groups of 13 or 4 terrorists are also said to be at Qasim as well as Shadi launch pads. This is also located, in fact, remember, another mixed group has also been mentioned which, around an old launch pad. These are the details coming in. There are four terrorists uh, who are opposite Uri and two groups between 9 and 11 terrorists. These are the details of, that have come in of the possibilities of an attack. We'll uh, get more details of it, and this is a detailed map of what is expected. Remember, these are details that have been accessed of another terror plot by Pakistan. These are the inside details of how a terror plot has been put in place to bleed Hindus in Kashmir. Very, very targeted attacks uh, that have been planned. There are terrorists that are already inside, and there are... Uh, in, there is information coming in of planned attacks on the vehicles of the security forces as well as convoys. Let's go across to uh, senior consulting editor Shrinjoy Chaudhary joining us on the broadcast with the details. Uh, Shrinjoy, big inside scoop on how the attacks are being planned, specific inputs that have come in on areas that are being targeted by the Pakistani terrorists. Undoubtedly, there are, if you look at these numbers, there are 60 or 70 terrorists in launch pads right on the line of control. So what we have are specific groups of terrorists, which parts of Jammu and Kashmir through which they wish to infiltrate. All that information is there. Now, there are three or four things that they wish to do. One, of course, we are hearing of one or two bat attacks that is battle action team attacks on pickets on the line of control. Those details are there as well. Apart from that, there are three kinds of targets that they are looking at. One, of course, security forces, uh, whether they are in convoys, whether they are uh, going separately, whatever security forces are a target. Secondly, also Kashmiri pundits. What we are hearing is that Kashmiri Pandit colonies may also be targeted. The third lot of people that are being targeted are people who are from other parts of India, uh, not Jammu and Kashmir, but other parts of India who are working there, and they may be targeted. Besides that, politicians could also be targeted. This we have seen in the past. Now, very clearly, the terror groups have the men in place, they have the weapons in place, they have an agenda in place, and they are waiting for the passes to open, some of which have already opened, which is why infiltration has begun. The army, naturally, and other security forces are on the alert. It's particularly important to stop them, because this is the year. Later in the month, you will have a G20 meeting in Sri Lanka. Now, one attempt is to make things so difficult that the G20 meeting is troubled. But this is a decision that the okay. Indian government has taken. The G20 meeting will happen in Sri Lanka. Absolutely. With and the G20 happen. in focus, uh, these are the activities that have been planned. Request you to stay on with us. Let's also go across to Amita for details on how it is all being planned. Over to you, Amita. Right. So 
you know, with the help of a map graphics, as we can help our viewers also understand exactly how the grave, the situation could be like, because this also comes on at a time when uh, right after winters are over, such kind of heightened and increased activity that is normally seen uh, when it comes to across the border and terror launch pads. So Pakistan terror build up at the border, terror camps that have been also listed and located as far as uh, in all of these areas are concerned, in Poonch, in uh, Rampur and other areas as well, in Noshera, many of those locations that we are told that preparations that are already being done and there have been launch pads with terrorists that have been divided into groups that are ready to infiltrate and strike India. Now, even if we talk about other, what could have been uh, Pakistan's terror plan there? If we talk about Mendhar in Pulwama, in Avantipur, in also in Pampur, this is according to Intel sources, the uh, information now, however, is received. But also to take note is that the information can be a lot to actually take into. But there is no intense or even when it comes to specific information uh, that could actually talk about what exactly is the planning, where the attack could happen, on what day and what time could happen. That is also something to filter out that kind of information. That becomes all the more important for our security agencies. Amita, thank you for joining us with those details. So we've broken it down for you. Let's also take this across to Major General G.D. Bakshi as well as Arasan Singh joining us on the uh, broadcast. Uh, Major General Bakshi, does it come as a surprise to you at all, the detailed planning that has gone in and the specific areas that are being targeted here? Absolutely not. It doesn't take rocket science to conclude that if the G20 meeting is scheduled this month, Pakistan will do its damnedest to try and disrupt it, try and create some incidents which tarnish India's image in before the world community. Pakistan is a state on the brink of economic meltdown, on the brink of state collapse. Every single institution is at war with one another. They are carrying this war to the streets in an outright civil war, the Pakistan army as an institution is being targeted as never before. Yet, this country wants to humiliate India somehow, hurt India somehow, anyhow. I have been saying if Pakistan has a death wish, well, we can help it. We can help it to die as a state. I don't think we should confine our activities to just consequence management on our own side of the border. That is being done. People are making contingency plans. There are 60 to 70 terrorists in the launch pads. The campaign season is open because the passes have more or less opened. The snows have melted and infiltration has already commenced, uh, I am quite certain especially with what has happened in the Punch area, it has already commenced. And they are trying to activate both north and south of the Pir Panjal. So we may choose our timings, but now we have to grow, go proactive. We may not do it before the G20 meet, but immediately after that is over, I think retribution should be given. And if required, uh, we might even do it before to preempt some of these attacks. Okay. Okay. We uh, cannot take it lying down. The ceasefire has gone long enough. We need to rate, raise costs and consequences for Pakistan. Yes, but what's unfortunate is what is unfolding in Pakistan and yet the focus remains here. Pakistan is clearly unable to digest the G20 focus on India, clearly, Colonel Singh. Look at the money that has been pumped in as well. Over the last few days, we've also uh, played out details that have been coming in of the NIA, the SIA raids that have revealed the kind of financial uh, backing that this entire terror module is getting. Firstly, your map, all arrows lead to the central part of Kashmir, which is, you know, which is the stronghold of the Muftis. So, is there a linkage? Well, I think so. And uh, the second part is, as General Bakshi said, that uh, Pakistan state is in, uh, you know, in the brink of collapse, staring at collapse, so I would say. But then there is a lesson for us that whether it is collapse or survival or whether it is wealth or poverty, I mean, the jihad continues. 
so uh, jihad is has always been a component of of pakistan's military doctrine whether it was you know the 47 48 war or you know of gibraltar in 1965 or you know 71 war you know uh, al shams brigade and al badr brigade of jamaat e islami so that is not that is nothing is going to happen to that so that that's why he is absolutely correct you know when general bakshi says that yes we will do the fire fighting but is that enough and then you cannot go by any paradigm you know as far as india's threat perception is concerned the judiciary of the country may have both languages there is uncanny similarity i you know i follow i mm. follow their supreme court also i follow our supreme court also please for god say get correct your vocabulary and i would urge the army personnel also please correct your vocabulary as your um, that is military vocabulary mm. as far as your threat perception are concerned yes you wasted you wasted lot of time okay so you're also calling for tough retribution to come in saying the action yes. is not enough it's time to take big action unfortunately we'll have to leave it at that thank you both for joining us on the broadcast we're shifting